Welcome to Pramavara P6 tutorials. We will learn about preparing printable layouts in Pramavara. Now, what's a layout? The layout is what we know as page setup and MS Excel and MS Word file. Now, why is it important to learn about preparing a layout or doing a page setup in Pramavara? It is important to prepare or print some information about the project of preparing subcontractors program or just printing out some information about the project in general now let's go to the program most of us think that we can just go and print information in Primavera uh, there is some series of stuff that we have to go through uh, in Primavera in order to print a more readable presentable information now let's go to the file and print preview now if we observe here we can see that the table is completely zoomed in and the Gantt chart is totally out of focus if I come down we can see that the page number if I keep scrolling, it keeps jumping to alternative pages. I'll teach you how to convert this into this. A more presentable layout. You can see here we have a header with a project name. We have start finish of the project. We have a layout name, a company's name, and Gantt chart legend. And this is what we call as a revision box. This is we will learn about in one of our future chapters. Let's close this. Now let's begin. Let's go to view, and layout, and open layout. It will ask would you like to save the changes to the current layout click as no now most of us would have some layouts given by default in Primavera most usually classic shadow layout will be activated or it is being used by most of us just click on apply you can see that the layout name is right up here and the filter assigned to the layout will show right over here now let's right click copy and then paste let's rename it to slab look ahead let's click on apply now you see that the layout name is changed over here and still the filter assigned is all activities we go to file, go to print preview. Now we, we see that a chart is still out of focus. Now let's adjust the zoom percentage. Let's say at 50% or 60%. Click on apply, click on OK. Now we see that the table is adjusted but the Gantt chart is still out of focus we still cannot see the Gantt chart now in order to make some changes and make the Gantt chart visible let's just squeeze this Gantt chart time scale over here let's just keep scrolling we are still not able to see the Gantt chart that is because the start date is 16 so let's scroll up to 2016 okay the Gantt chart is right over here Let's go to file, go to print preview. Okay, achar is still not visible. Let's go to page setup. Go to options. Again, chart start scale as project chart and finish as project finish. Now, again, chart is visible. Now, in order to make it a better view, 
let's do some changes let's say time scale is from project start minus two weeks and say time scale finish is project finish plus say four weeks click on ok now you see that the GAN chart starts slightly ahead of the corner this is just for better presentation and ends a bit earlier or before than the corner and corner this is just for presentation it looks better now let's go further clip and header now we have three sections over here I usually prefer to have just two sections so let's click on the third section and let's click over here as we need two sections click on apply now we have two sections over here first section is project name or layout name and the second section is layout name okay now we can have in a center right align or left align let's go over here and type as project name let's keep it left align or center line click on apply and you see the project name is visible in the header uh, how to change the project name enterprise go to projects now whatever name you give to the project over here will be visible in our layout header as the project name in section 2 I want or I choose to have page number in my header so let's give it size 8 uh, maybe left aligned page number click on down here type page page number add and then space page number of total pages click on add let's give it a space over here and then click on apply now you can see your page number let's get it centrally aligned click on apply ok now we have a project name and a page number in a header and if you see that the page number is not jumping alternative pages now let's continue with the footer the first section is Ganja section there's no change you can do except for change I, I keep usually section 1 as project start and finish so after click on text logo let's keep it as size 8 let's type it start now let's keep it at size 10 that's look better next press enter and then type finish and then as data date Now start as project start, add, finish, go down section, project finish, add, data date, go down section, and let's look for data date. Click on add, keep all at size 10, click on apply, 
now we see that we have the start and finish it displaying the non data date let's increase the footer size click on apply let's increase a little more click on apply okay now it is visible let's try increasing the percentage zoom percentage it doesn't make any difference now let's squeeze the section one click on apply squeeze it a little bit more click on apply now in section two i like to have my gantt chart section two let's squeeze this again now let's add one more section in section three now i would like to write and our layout name over here so let's type it as signature tower slab look ahead signature tower and slab look ahead program let's keep it size 10 click on okay click on apply now we can see at the footer we have project name and now we see at the footer we have our project name and the layout name in section 4 let us write your company name you can type any of a company name and its location one method you can do is you can paste your company's logo over here click on picture click on browse you can just select your company's logo so instead of just writing your company's name you can you can select the alignment over here just escape this for now we'll see it in one of our future chapters close this now let's assign a filter i've prepared another filter for myself for this known as two month look ahead along with the filter is saved so any time you open it the layout the filter will get assigned itself now here it is a final print preview now let's make some changes we don't want this 1.1.1 to be seen so let's go and group and sort click on customize and then just untick this id code click on apply okay now we see that the 1.1.1 the code name is gone just the name or the w base visible the slave layer again click on file click on print preview thank you for watching until next time